but you're really sort of fighting this, like, really uphill battle, trying to just get something that... Like, it's, it's a massive undertaking to get something like this to, to actually work in the state that it's currently in. And the fact that it does as yeah. much as it does is already, like, a, a testament to how much work has been done by all of the people involved. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think the biggest problem was just that before we started NVK, I think it would have been a fair estimation to say there were like two full-time developers on the entire project. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah that makes sense. Uh, uh, so there's just so much we can actually do there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it got a lot better with NVK. Um, well, I guess that and... leads us perfectly into NVK then. Uh, excuse me? I said, I guess that leads us perfectly into NVK, then we can talk about that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. so... Uh, I guess we're always asking about... Go, sorry, you know, go. Working driver for Novo. Uh, what um, I was going to say is, uh, what is NVK? I think you're about to explain it anyway. Yes, so NVK is the uh, open source working driver for NVIDIA GPUs. Um, it's still built upon the same kernel driver. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the new compiler is merged, but it also shared the compiler with the OpenGL driver for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think the new one isn't shared yet. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's uh, basically just um, open source broken implementation. And um, the main idea was to start the project in a way where we are doing things right mm -hmm. and more sustainable and everything. Um, yeah, like a lot of issues with the OpenGL driver. We didn't want to repeat the same mistakes there. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, it actively makes use of uh, the documentation NVIDIA is giving us. Mm -hmm. um, and it lives inside Misa and makes um, use of the same infrastructure we have for all the other working drivers there as well. Mm -hmm. You did mention documentation there, but I, I have seen some um, write-ups from, I think, yeah, I've seen some of the, the Clabra write-ups where it specifically mentions multiple times, reverse engineering, reverse engineering, reverse engineering. How much documentation do you actually have from NVIDIA and how much of it is just trying to work out how this device act, how, how this can fit together. Yeah. Um, well, maybe I should give you a better link. Okay. Um, like, uh, this one is better. So, yeah, um, we are getting like file, files like these, um, which especially like, you see that they don't really explain anything. They are just, you know, register dumps. And um, I see. But but <laughs> but it, 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 at least it allows us to search for uh, terms mm -hmm. and figure out if this specific like where to look basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And sometimes it's straightforward. We just search a term and then yeah play around with it a little bit and figure out how it works. Sometimes it's a little bit more complex and there has been work to write a new tool to be able to reverse engineer their working driver as well. So we can also compare against whatever NVIDIA is doing mm -hmm. um, and do like the reverse engineering against their driver mm -hmm. in case we need more information. So. Um, when you talk about like reverse engineering a Vulcan driver, like what does that, what does reverse engineering actually mean in this context? Like what, what sort of work would you be doing to to work that out? Yeah, so most of the time, because we also have this Vulcan CTS repository with like hundred thousands of tests, mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of small tests which test very specific cases or you know parts of the working specification and what we would do for reverse engineering is to just check what commands the nvidia driver sends to the gpu mm -hmm. and then just try to figure out uh, what to do on our end as well okay so it 
I'm sure that's a very um, long and tedious process. Uh, it kind of depends. Okay. I mean, the tests are pretty small, mm -hmm. so it's not that bad. But there's a lot of. Um, but it would be, yeah. <laughs> but but it would be like more complicated if you you know try to figure out certain things they're doing in games or something. Right. Um, because of the you know overload of information you would get, be getting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's it's approaching like a one little command at a time, and then over time you build those up, and then you get something that passes the test and hopefully also works properly as well. Yeah, something like like in the best case, it's just one unknown command, but sometimes it can also be you know multiple commands. Mm -hmm. And what they also have is a macro engine on the command processor. Mm -hmm. um, and they can like what they're doing is they can execute a macro and it would generate more commands for the GPU. Right. Um, and that's a little bit more tricky to figure out. Um, but yeah, there is, you know, it always depends on the test. Sometimes there are more commands involved and sometimes not. So when did NVK get started? Because I know it's a fairly new project. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think it's already like two years old. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that has been around for a bit. Maybe now. not quite. One and, one and a half year, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, that's still like it, it's really impressive how far it's come along. Because I know I I remember seeing articles from the start of this year about how it can actually play a video game now, which is impressive, very impressive actually. Yeah, yeah, we actually have like um, on our Novo channel we have users actually trying out NVK on mm -hmm. DXVK and Proton and everything and. Yeah, uh, some games are already running. Mm -hmm. It's very slow, but right, it's running. So I'm, I'm oh, seeing this article from uh, Gaming on Linux that was talking about your post from the start of this year with our Talos principle running. The screenshot has it running at five FPS, which is more yeah. than one. That's it's a <laughs> lot more than one. Yes. So it's it's yes. functioning. It's not. I wouldn't call that playable, but it's functioning. Yeah. Yeah, I think this was uh, without the GSP firmware. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like with the basic, most basic clocks, uh, which are usually quite slow on mm -hmm. modern GPUs. Um, yeah, I think some people, some users are already trying it out with GSP. Wow, and I think okay. it's already got merged upstream, like the GSP support and mm -hmm. the firmware as well. So I think it will come in with Linux 6.7. I remember reading something? a Phronics article about that, yes. I think just a couple of yeah. days ago it was merged. 6.7 yeah. yeah. GSP. Let me see. Uh, best week, Linux 6.7, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, GSP should be in 6.7. So it's going to take a while to, like, yeah. make its way out to, like, the like the other distros. But on things like Arch, yeah. like, that'll be out there fairly soon. 